The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Formula continues to build one of the best performance cruisers I've had the joy of testing. Their designs scream out for attention and thrill you with solid performance unexpected in a boat this size. For the latest 40PC, Formula has made a solid commitment to pod drive technology. They will now only offer it with Volvo Penta's IPS. Formula originally released the 40PC with IPS as an option, and the customer and dealer response was outstanding. So much so, it only made sense to make it the only option for this roomy cruiser. Formula's designer, John Adams, remains one of the premier boat designers. Each year I return to Sanibel, Florida with delight and anticipation of being impressed with his latest inspiration. Formula is respected as an industry leader and often first to market with technology such as Volvo Penta's IPS. The large stern swim platform of Formula's 40 PCs and inviting space to board, hang out, launch your water toys, or dive into the cooling waters. It has a stern trunk, port transom gate, starboard dockside connections, and this one has the optional teak wood grain vinyl on the swim platform and deck. Two steps up and through the pneumatic assist transom door, you enter the cockpit with port side wet bar and integrated sink with Corian countertops. This one has the optional ice maker to make preparing drinks easy. All the cockpit seating is constructed of dry fast foam and Starlight XL synthetic panels. One more step up and you're on the helm deck with port side lounger. Stainless steel drink holders are peppered about to manage your beverages. I believe the hardtop and the yacht this size really adds to the enjoyment and entertainment possibilities. Formula has done a good job of keeping the bracing for the hardtop and the stainless steel windshield cap from robbing much visibility at the helm. Light burl wood dash inserts and wood tilt wheel brighten up the helm. Lavorsi multifunction gauges above the Volvo Penta engine displays are just to the left with a row of rocker switches below and in the last level is a stereo remote control and marine VHF radio. Directly behind the wheel is an optional Raymarine E120 color display with 3 inch gauges above the autopilot and digital depth finder to the right of the wheel. The twin command helm seat is a dual position bench with separate bolsters and center storage compartment. IPS is a standard feature and it has its own dedicated spot well within comfortable reach by the driver when standing, facing forward, or facing the aft as they might when backing into a slip. Going forward is easy with the molded in steps in the dash and stainless steel handrail leading to the windshield walkthrough. Inside, this one has the Tommy Bahama option. The changes are at the galley, starting with the appliance garage here on the left. Galley cabinets have a beautiful high gloss deep cherry finish and the drawers are dovetail which shows good quality and craftsmanship. The countertops are Corian and spacious enough to prepare meals. Standard galley appliances include a microwave, concealed two burner cooktop, Krupp's coffee maker, and stainless steel refrigerator freezer. The salon is a comfortable place to relax in the evenings. The starboard side has a curved ultra leather sofa with dual height table that can be stowed. Forward is a private queen island berth with census memory foam mattress. The aft seating area is quite roomy and allows you to have another group of friends or family hang out below and enjoy meals. When needed, this lounge converts into a second sleeping accommodation for any guest aboard. The head is centrally located on the port side as you enter the cabin. The new 40PC IPS weighs 22,750 pounds. She's 42 feet 7 inches length overall and has a beam of 12 feet 8 inches. Draft with the standard IPS drive measures 44 inches, registering a top speed of 42 miles per hour at 3480 RPM. The Volvo Penta IPS package had its best range at 3000 RPM and 34.3 miles per hour for a burn rate of 28.6 miles per hour and a range of 269 miles. This setup has a 32% improvement in fuel efficiency at 38 miles per hour compared with the previously available diesel inboard V-Drive package. It also goes 4 miles per hour faster at the top end. So it's a little wonder that Formula has made the IPS standard equipment without any other engine options on the boat. To add the icing to the cake, consider the ease of handling with IPS drives versus conventional inboards and the comparison has a much larger gap. Cabin headroom is 6 feet 9 inches, making the interior not only seem bigger, but combined with nearly 13 feet of beam, it's actually more spacious than many other boats this length. She's a solid choice for cruising with the kinds of standard amenities that make sense. While some may see the single choice of IPS restrictive, virtually all of Formula's customers were specifying IPS, so the company felt that the other options were simply unnecessary. As everyone should know by now, pod drives with joysticks allow everyone to drive like a pro and at the same time get huge increases in fuel efficiency. 
regardless of whether you're ready to move up from a 30-something cruiser to a larger yacht or jumping in headlong leaving a small bow rider far behind, you shouldn't pass up giving a Formula 40 PC a good look before you make a decision. Yes, she's definitely an upmarket boat, but her beauty, performance, and style will please most anyone.